My name's Johnny. How's it going, Joker family? It's your Joker, aka the Black Joker, and today got a little bit of a different video for you guys. As you guys know, you guys that are already should be aware of what we're doing as far as offense goes. Now, I've already had a few people ask me about defense, so here we go. This is what we're doing on defense. Now, real quick before we get into this video, number one being is that what I tell you guys in this video is my opinion. Okay, I ain't a, I ain't one of these pro players and this that and the third this is what i do for me to be comp in madden this year okay you guys can have your different opinions this that and the third whatever it is what it is you know what i'm saying once again it's just my opinion so i'm gonna go ahead get into the team real quick show you guys what i'm working with on abilities then we're gonna go into practice mode go over certain adjustments and then of course get you guys gameplay all right joker fam so this is what the defense is looking like as a whole right now as you guys can see we already have picked up DRC. We will have gameplay coming out on him soon. But as it is, this is what the defense is looking like. Um, sauce on the outside, DRC on the other outside. But our primary thing is linebackers. Now, obviously this year, thank God, they made linebackers very usable this year. Now, we have Lurk Artist on, as you guys can see, we have Lurk Artist on Derek Brooks, and we have Reinforcement. Now, I picked Reinforcement for all three of my X Factors because Honestly, D-line doesn't really get too much pressure already as it is. But once the X, the X Factor is on, higher chance to defeat the run blocking, which definitely need, and to disrupt passes, pretty much pass breakups. So we're definitely going to need that in zone coverage in the middle of the field and things of that nature. So that's the way you have that on our on our linebackers. Now we have Kenneth Murray, um, Derek Brooks. They all, all of them have Lurker and Devin White. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I went with these group of linebackers, Derek Brooks should be kind of apparent. Kind of merge just because he gets rare chems, but Devin White because he does have 99 speed, he does have 90 or 99 speed, he does have 90 speed, he does have 90 acceleration, and he does have like I think 88 or no, I think he has 90 change of direction. Now, again, this is very important when it comes to users. Now, again, block shed is like a luxury, you know what I'm saying? I would love for my linebackers to have very good block shed, but. Like I said, it's more of a luxury thing. For a good user, you need to have speed, you need to have acceleration, and you definitely need to have change of direction. It's really that simple. So, Devin White will be the linebacker I am going to be using over the middle of the field. And we do have two inside stuffs between Grave Digger and William Perry. Now, this is where the discrepancy comes in. Because I'm sure some of you guys already know that some people decide that they want to run um, knockouts. However you want to put your knockouts, that's up to you. But here's the thing, right, for me. When it comes down to it, if you're going to run inside stuffs, you have, if you're going to run inside stuff, period, you need to have two. Because the reason for this is because if you only have one, all anybody is going to do is double team that one inside stuff, and he's not going to get off of blocks, period. So if you guys want to, you know, still run 3-3, three, three, you know, that's fine. That's okay. But there is no point of you having an inside stuff when you can just double team it and it just pretty much is going to be nullified. There's no point in it. Two inside stuffs helps me out in the run game because nine times out of ten, people are going to be in trips. People are going to be in gum bunch. So because of that, most RPOs, which we already know is OP, are going to be up the middle. Anytime an RPO is ran out of these shotgun formations, they're going to be... Um, inside runs so that's the whole point of me having the two inside stuffs now when it comes to stuff like stretch rpo stretch rpo or like um, stretch lukey and stuff like that that and more so comes to just usering you know what i'm saying which we'll get into that a little bit later but as it is this is why i run two inside stuffs i don't want my opponent controlling the game offensively through the run game if you're going to beat me it's going to be through the air I can make adjustments um, with curl flats or uh, zone or uh, zone drops with my curl flats, with my hard flats, with my yellow zones and this and that. I can man this person up, whatever. I can make certain adjustments to take away passing the ball. You know what I'm saying? Now, how quickly I get these adjustments out, how effective it will be, who knows? You know, it is what it is. But I refuse to lose a game because you're toting a rock. Because there are no adjustments I can essentially make with you running the ball. If you're getting run lanes and I don't because I don't have inside stuffs or whatever, then that's it. You're just getting run lanes. I just gotta hope 
Frechette. And when it comes to EA, as you guys know, hoping for things to happen isn't what you isn't not a situation you want to put yourself in off rip. You want to be able to make adjustments, figure something out, take things away. If you can't take away the run game because RPOs are so OP and you're going to allow somebody to just run RPOs on you all day. I mean, and that's what they're going to do. Trust me. I know if you're going to let me sit and slot posts all day, I'm going to sit and slot posts. But regardless of that, this is what the defense is looking like. You guys already know what the abilities we're rocking with. So again, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on that as far as what you guys think about inside stuffs. Again, you got to me, if you're going to run inside stuffs, you got to run two. What I'm saying is really just that simple. If you run one, then you might as well just take it off and just put it on a deep run knockout. All right, Joker fam. So we're in practice mode, man. So as it is, you guys can run this um, a multitude. Well, I wouldn't say a multitude of different ways, but there's two ways that you can run this defense. Now, you can right now. I switched my defense from four six to multi defense just so I can have four three, right? So again, I know linebackers are expensive. I know they're not the most cheapest things to come by. So if you guys at least bare minimum have two linebackers, you can run nickel out of this. But just know the same adjustments and the same things I'm going to be doing out of what I'm actually going to be coming out in since I have three linebackers, you still can do with, still do within nickel. Okay. But I'm going to go to 4-3. Make my little change here. Again, I'm putting Derek Brooks here. We're gonna put Devin White here in the middle because that's gonna be my user. And we're going to put Kenneth um, Kenneth Murray on the outside. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put Max there. And this is what we're gonna pretty much be running. Now, again, um, I will dabble into a little bit of cover two, but cover two is pretty much a basic concept of what, it, it, it's just kind of a preference thing, but I'll, I'll get into cover two later. Primarily what I'm going to be in is cover four quarters. Now, again, like I said, if you only have two linebackers, you can do the exact same thing in nickel, okay? You still got cover four, you can still make the same adjustments. So we're gonna go ahead and put up something like, uh, I don't know if I have trips out of this offense, but um, trail offset, we'll, we'll just start with bunch. Bunch is a typical one people like to use, so we'll, we'll kind of start with that. now. Real quick, as you guys can see, you guys start off with uh, quarter flats. Now the flats doesn't really much matter if you're, the quarter flats don't really much matter unless you're running match. I don't like running match, okay? I'm not a fan of it, especially when it comes to tight sets like this, like gun tight or a bunch, when the receivers are close together, not a fan of running um, match for that reason. So we're normally, we'll just shade over top and then we have our curl flex, all right? So what I typically like to do, if you have, and which I've found this out the hard way, if you have the corners to do it, then you can do this. I show blitz, okay? So if I um, click it again, press Y, and hit the left analog stick to the left, I show blitz that brings everybody down. Now the reason for this is for the run fits, okay? And this is, oh crap, I did not mean to do this. Um, but the whole reason for this is for the run fits to be better. Again, to help you a little bit more on the run. This is why I would rather run four three versus nickel all right you have that extra linebacker in that can help you in the run game especially if they're coming out in like um um i not i form but like a single back formation where they can run stretch and things of that nature so again i shade um i shade i show blitz again your corners do run the jeopardy of getting beat over top so be aware of that that's why we have sauce that's, what, that's why we have the new aka drc you know what i'm saying so that won't be too much of a problem for us now as far as adjustments go something like this out of bunch you can um i will say one of the things you would need to know with playing defense especially if you're going to be comp doing it you guys got to learn quick adjustments quick adjustments is going to be very very important to you making things quick so you're not going over here clicking around the different players making adjustments and then when you got to uh, finish out your adjustments and then a quick hike or something you're stuck on a D line you know what I'm saying I can be right here and do whatever I need to do so when it comes to certain things like bunch now again I already know the play call is gonna be verts but people like to run corner routes out of bunch very obvious right so here's the thing right I show blitz quite often to help with the run game but if I see you spamming corner routes I will not do this I will keep it base like this 
which I don't know why my other corner is not dropping back. I don't know why that's happening. All right, well, whatever. We'll keep them right here. So I will keep my, keep this base, and then I will, for my quick adjustments, you'll see something like this. Now, this is what you call on the right side, um, on the right side of the screen, people call it double mabling, all right? You're taking away that entire right side of the field to stop these um, short, short routes from the tight end, the corner route over top, again, if your flats are where they're supposed to be at. I didn't really go into flats in the coaching adjustments, so I'll get into that in a second too. But this is the look that you wanna have. Now, you could keep this uh, deep zone where it's at, that deep blue where it's at, or you could um, you know, change it to um, something more on the inside, which I don't recommend, obviously. You kinda just wanna you know, keep him where he's at. But this is the, like I said, this is the key thing, knowing your quick adjustments, right? So if I wanted to, most people run Lamar, if you want to put up a spy, double click the directional pad left twice. So on your directional pad, click left twice. And then you guys will see your quick adjustments come up. So you can pick any one of them. I typically pick a D tackle, press Y, and then spy. And then there you go. You got a spy on the field. Right, same thing goes for the linebackers. If you wanna, especially something out of this, out of bunch, right? You wanna be able to make sure that everybody is somewhat involved in the play. You don't want like a uh, zones just not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Which more than likely for me, especially going against bunch, this purple on that left side, he's pretty much not gonna be doing much of anything unless. Um, they put up a running back real route or whatever the case is. But again, your quick adjustments, you click right on your directional pad twice. And then there you go. You have your quick adjustments for your linebackers. You go ahead. I will hit X and then I will put mad coverage and I will have them on the running back. Okay. So whatever he runs, whether it's a wheel route, um, Texas route, whatever it might be, I know the running back is going to be covered. Okay, and then I'll keep my deep zones where they're at. They're, they're kind of good where they're at. And I'll kind of lurk over the middle. If there's nothing over the middle, if I see something like dart across, I'll go pick it up. But the key thing is, is that I'm gonna take away the corner house and stuff. Now again, I know it's vert, so it is what it is. We'll let the play call go as it is. But then we'll just pick up wherever we need to pick up and that's it. Now, once again, as far as actually stopping verts goes, um, multiple ways that you can do it um again if i know you're spamming verts you're not really hitting the corner routes then i will show blitz i will show blitz have everybody pressed up out of this we could put um this into a man coverage for the linebacker and if i really wanted to we could man this guy up on kittle you know what i'm saying like that and then we can do something like this and give more so of a cover three look. Actually, I could probably just keep him where he's at. Yeah, we'll keep that where he's at. So we'll have more so of a cover three look, like a cover three type shell, but we have man cover assignments, okay, on two players that might pose a threat or maybe players that he's hitting quite often that we want to make sure that they're either covered or we have somebody near them that we can either blow the play up or possibly not let them get such big yards or whatever the case is and this would just let me be able to roll roam the middle of the field pretty free and clear now obviously the x factor is on so it kind of is what it is but again that flat route getting open like that it's manned up you know what i'm saying it's not going to pick up that many many yards but again like i said the key thing with running a defense like this is knowing your quick adjustments because just in a matter of like a like a few seconds if I want to do this we can um we can do it like that bam and again I'm not that proficient in it yet I'm getting better as I can and then there you go we have we have a setup you know I'm saying but the more you do it is more so about repetition the more you do it the more comfortable you'll get with it and stuff like that <clears throat> and then you know we'll be able to box it up so the, the key thing is about this defense is what are you trying to take away? You know what I'm saying? Um, again, like I said, I'll go to coaching adjustments real quick. So you guys can see curl flats. I typically keep this around five or 10 because I want them to play shallow. I don't want them 
being at 15 or 20 or anything like that. Now, if you're just not hitting flats like at all, they're not trying to take underneath routes and stuff, then we might dabble into some 15. But right now, we just keep it to five and 10. Somewhere's in this area, probably five for now. But flats, we always want this to 30. Why? Because we want to be able to play corner routes if we need to. Now, the only time flats might drop down to like five or zero, it's in red zone, like five yard situations. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure we get something out to the sidelines quick. Um, option defense will be on conservative. And I know this doesn't help, but I normally just put tackling on aggressive. Cause I mean, people are not getting ran over in this game. You know what I'm saying? So break tackles don't really happen too often. It's just pretty much if you're getting juked out, you know, so. Cover two is like more so, like Tampa two is just more so of just double mabling and just essentially kind of trying to, it's like I said, it's preference. If if double mabling out of cover four is good for you, then great. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna run Tampa two to double mabel out of, you can do that also. Again, I only double mabel on trips and um, bunch. So I don't really, you know, it's not really something, I Tampa 2 is not really something I get into a lot. Cover 4 is going to be the primary thing that I typically want to do. We'll just do, um, we'll, just, we'll just do a random bunch play, you know, whatever. So again, like I said, man, the, the key thing is just making sure that your quick adjustments are where you want them to be at, and that's it. Making sure everybody is somewhat involved in the play and that's it and i just like a couple seconds we have that maybe shade over top just to make sure we have the curl flats again not having this up isn't going to change too much okay so good route on that so not having your curl flats up if you keep it in quarter flats it's not going to change anything because the match isn't on so it, it really won't matter but um you know We'll go ahead and do that. Let's see what it comes out in now. I'll even keep the I'll keep the quarter flats up as you guys can see. I won't touch anything. Keep them up where they're at, and then you know it won't. It doesn't change much of anything. Now again, as it is for that, I would probably lower the curl flats to five because I think we have it at ten. I'll probably drop it down to five if we need to. And again, it, even if um. Maybe you don't, maybe you want your linebacker to drop out. You know, you can keep the linebacker there and, you know, man up the running back like this. And then, you know, still keep that cover three over top and just have something manned up. And, you know, that's it. So let's see what we can do here. As you can see, we, we got a, a good amount of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's, and again, it just really just does depend on what you're seeing and what are the possibilities that could come out of it. Again, like I said, if your opponent is spamming corner routes, you already know you got to double Mabel. If you're going to double Mabel, you can't um, show blitz because everybody's going to get pressed up in the um, cloud flat isn't going to get back quick enough. You know what I'm saying? So you can put them in a the vert hook. You know what I'm saying? Put them in a the vert hook. Help have a little bit more help over the middle. We don't got to cover a lot of field. But again, it, it depends on what the running back is doing. He's not doing much out of there good pressure you get what i'm saying so running back was blocking on that one you know what i'm saying so again it just whatever you can make work for you and again out of this i found for cover four you can definitely take away a lot of things but the the other key thing is you got to be willing to adjust and you got to be willing to adjust on the fly all right that's that's the key thing so two key points if you don't take anything out from this video for this defense there's two key points you need to be able to do you definitely need to be able to um, quick adjust your linebackers and your DBs, okay? And you need to be able to adjust on the fly. Those are definitely the key things you need to do. But as far as that goes, man, like I said, there's not really much to really have to worry about when it comes to that. And, and like I've already said too, if you if you're so if you don't have the linebackers or whatever the case is, again, I got two linebackers set out of nickel, just come to over uh, nickel over cover four palms um, just pick a random play and again it's the same look you just have a, a extra corner in instead of a linebacker and that's it you know you can show blitz you can back everybody off you can double mabel on one side you know what i'm saying you can double mabel both sides if you want to uh, oops, I, I wouldn't recommend double abling both sides because then you just leave a 
big gap over the middle and it's just pretty much a cover two shell over top. You know what I'm saying? But again, a lot of different things you can do. You can man up the running back. Um, let me see. You could, I, I completely forgot I don't have another linebacker in. Um, you can do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Show blitz, have a cover two look. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. So again, it's it, like I said, there's a lot of different things you can do out of this. And that's why I like it. But once again, being able to adjust on the fly, that's terrible users. Holy hell. Hopefully the gameplay goes better than this. But as it is, a lot of different things you can do out of this. Um, you just got to be willing to adjust and obviously know your quick adjustment. All right, Joker Pap. So as you guys can see, we are in a game. We're starting out on defense first, which is exactly what we want. So once again, like I said, we'll make our adjustments and then we'll go from there. Uh, can I put Max in? There we go. And I guess you're gonna kind of get a, a gameplay a little bit with uh, with the D um, DRC. So uh, let me see. What we'll do. We gotta make option defense on conservative. I don't need to worry about that. Tackling aggressive just cause. And then there we go. Let's see what we can. Oh, I came out in. Came out and cover three instead. All right, well that's fine. We'll we'll go with it. You know what I'm saying. But either way, um, as you guys can see, dude's coming out in the I form. This was kind of easy box. That that was DRC. Hey man, <laughs> could start I guess. All right, so back on defense, man. Uh, apparently cover three is not that bad. Cover three is not that bad, apparently. So, but either way, cover four quarters, man. Like I said, this now isn't gun empty. We can show blitz here. We'll keep everything base how it is just because of the potential mismatches that might be on the field. We could probably put this to... Uh, we didn't get it off. But I was going to try to man up the linebacker to him on the uh, left side. But <clears throat> he took a check down. That's fine. We can probably drop this down to five now since, you know, again, we're gonna, like I said, we're adjusting on the fly, man. Uh, gun flex tray. So we might be double Maybelline. Um, no, it's gun empty. All right, so once again, we could put this there instead. Have a nice little man coverage there. Um, now I didn't get to show the play art, but you guys have already, like I said, we talking through this as we go, so. Again, I manned that tight end up, went out there, played it beautifully. Now again, this is the other key component to having not only linebackers in, but linebackers with Lurk Artist. Lurk Artist does proc regardless. You don't have to be using the uh, player for it to proc. All right, so once again, back on defense now. Once again, we do have the X Factor here. So once again, we're manning this up. Now I get to show the play art this time. Now we're playing this. Okay, we'll take that. So again, the you sometimes you gotta use it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take certain things away. You know, but um, for right now, he's gonna come out in the same thing, which is okay. Oh no, no, he's not. So here, we can. Oh, I'm in the cover cover four price. I don't mean to be in this. So that's another thing too. We're running four three out of this. Um, there's two different cover fours. There's cover four press and there's cover four palms. You want to be in the cover four palms. So, okay. So he's going to be running RPOs out of this. Got to keep that in mind here. But um, let me see. We can do something like that, man that up. So now we have the palms covered there. And if we really wanted to, to get kind of crazy, we can man up the running back. And again, kind of have that. He's got a jukebox on. Okay, let's go ahead. Same thing. Man that linebacker up with him. Okay, so he's got a zig route out there. So now this is something that we gotta be aware of. Now we know we can't man that up because now we know he's got that zig route out there. So we're gonna let that play that straight up. We almost, Brooks almost had it. Now, obviously, Homeboy is not running any gum bunch or 
trips tied in some of the meta you know what i'm saying kind of want that there for the deep zone like i said we want that cover three over top shell uh, but again we have the tight end manned up should have made a better play on that but you know it's ea sports you know it's madden it's uh, stuff like that's gonna happen so for something like this we might okay i didn't get a chance to make the adjustment inside stuff this is why i don't want him controlling the aspect again as you guys can see rpo Om alert omaha a lot of stuff going on there but again we know the run is going to be for the most part shut down and that's what we want now for this i might do something like that man up that middle guy and then we'll keep everything like this kind of base and calvin's gonna be there there and then hey i'll take a little pressure too sometimes we'll get a little pressure so we're gonna let this play out where the way it is actually here we can probably put up cloud flats instead um because even if he takes the check down we'll give him the check down you know what i'm saying but we don't want to give up anything else other than just the check down good breakup good breakup we'll take that now again the the other thing that you got to keep in mind like i said the willingness to make adjustments now we know it's fourth and goal do our flats need to be at 30 here? No, they do not. So we know it's going to be 17 to the to the end zone. So we'll put our flats to 15 instead. That I could he could get something a little over, but I don't think he's going to, you know what I'm saying, have the balls to really throw something over. So we'll put Brooks out there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right. Play pass. Okay, there we go. So now Brooks is gonna get the depth we need. We know he's gonna get it. So we're chilling on that. And then there we go. All we gotta do is lurk the middle of the field and take away what we need. All right, so there we go. Not bad, not bad. All right, Jeff, so back on defense, man. As you guys can see, man, the four, three over, cover four quarters. Again, it's a good defense when you're able to, like I've already told you guys, quick adjust being a number one thing. And also willing to adjust on the fly. Now again, can you still get beat? Yeah, of course. Are people are still gonna get open. Yeah. Is the uh, is the run game gonna be stymied every single time? Absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be there you go. First mistake. Somehow Sauce got beat over top by DK. You know what I'm saying? And homeboy's happy about that. You know what I'm saying? Styling in the end zone. He's he's happy losing 21 to 7. So like stuff like this is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's Madden. It's going to happen. It is what it is. And that was just a straight up streak route. And I couldn't tell you how Sauce got beat over top so easy, but it happened, you know? So, you know, at the end of the day, you just, all you could do is just adjust, figure out why it happened, and that's it. All right, Jeffrey, so back on defense, man. Once again, couldn't tell you guys how I got beat over top, but we are playing over top. I'm making sure of it. I play pass also see what happens if we anybody else gets beat over top that's a good read um but um it looked like everything was covered over the top the way it's supposed to be so that's good again um this guy is not um this is obviously not some madden pro player all right Jeffrey, so this game's pretty much over but again um we're just gonna have fun with it on defense um like i said <laughs> making adjustments um, dude's running trips again. I, I don't think there's a need to double Mabel, especially at this point. But until he shows us that he's going to be running corner routes and hitting them, uh, double Mabeling is not going to really be too much of a problem. Once again, don't know why he's getting beat over top, but um, as it is, it's too late now. But um, I would say to not show blitz anymore if that keeps continues to happen. But um, once again. This is no point in it now. But if you notice something like that, even if it doesn't make sense, don't, you know, don't be hard headed with it. Just, you know, just don't show blitz. Just have your corners play off and that's it. But again, um, once again, we're keeping this uh, cover three shell over top. We have the running back blocked here. Um, see what we can take away. All right, took his check down. That's fine. So what we'll do is we'll actually change this up now. We'll man up the running back there. And then we'll put that deep blue into another hook curl. So this way we can help more on that trip side. 
um, guard whatever we need to guard on that trip side a little bit more. And somehow he still got the... See, like I said, man, even when stuff doesn't make sense, you just kind of have to roll with the punches. If something like this, you know, we'll put up two hook curls so the deep blues will no longer be there in the center. We'll have two uh, hook curls in the middle, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, I'm probably still going to man this running back up. Took a check down. Okay. See what we can do here. Mm. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Alright, Jugger Fam. So back on defense. Just got user strip. But um is what it is. Um okay, there we go. So we got our corners playing off this time. Again, um, there's no reason for us to have to um play over top when we don't have to. Again, but our flats, I mean our flats, our curl flats are still gonna be at five. Well, we're just going to drop down here because this game is pretty much over. Dude's just getting lucky. Weird stuff happening. Use your strip fumble out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird stuff. So, all right, Jerker fam. So, we're going to go ahead and end the gameplay right there. Um, As it is, man, like I said, cover four out of four, three even. Very good defense for me. Now, again, like I said, the primary thing about this defense is, is that we running three linebacker set to help us a little bit more in the run game, especially when it comes to playing against people who run stretch and things of that nature. But not just that, cover four is also very good for run fits to kind of help also within the run game. Now again, having the two inside stuffs helps me personally. I don't have to worry too much about the inside run game when it comes when it comes to running against people who are running RPOs out of bunch and out of trips, okay? So it kind of, helps nullify that. Do people still do it? Yes. Can people break off some kind of run, do inside stuffs work all the time? No, they don't. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Obviously, defense is difficult to run. You know what I'm saying? Is this defense going to shut your opponent down to zero points? And no, it's not going to do all that. But what it does ensure is that number one, I have now, I'm running a four down lineman set, which means that I'm going to have more pressure on the quarterback. That's number one. Number two, cover four is definitely going to help me. Cover four is going to help me in the run game, especially for, like I already said, for the run fits. On top of having two inside stuffs too. But also, I'm able to control the aspects of the game that I am able to control. Passing. I can control where I want my, how how far I want my zone drops at, who I want to man up, who I want to take away. If I need to, if you're only targeting one tight end on a specific route, on a corner route or whatever, okay, fine, we'll man it up and see what happens. If that doesn't work, okay, let's go ahead and put up a cloud flat there. Let's see if that works. You know what I'm saying? There's a multitude of ways that you can adjust out of this. Outside of DK beating us over the top, you know what I'm saying? That is a easy fix, you know what I'm saying? But Cover four, kind of, and I know this is going to sound kind of whatever since it already happened, but cover four helps you not get beat over the top. Your opponent has to take chunk plays in order to beat you. He has to take a lot of underneath, a lot of stuff over the middle if you give it up, and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Which, that means it's more plays for you to see what your opponent is doing. If you guys don't take nothing away from this video, that's fine. Just keep those two things in mind, okay? Adjusting on the fly and knowing your quick adjustments. That's it. But you guys let me know what you guys think about the defense in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed and DRC gameplay will be coming out very shortly, even though he's already gotten a pick and doing work, but you know, we gotta give him a gameplay, all right? But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.